Welcome to Subramani. Uh, recently, uh, a couple of days back, SEBI has uh, asked for the feedback uh, from AMFI, uh, which is the Association of Mutual Funds of India and the individual asset management companies to uh, talk about a product which is uh, currently being called a new asset class which is a uh, something some kind of a link between a mutual fund which is a, a lower end product which somebody with 500 rupees can enter and a 50 lakh rupee pms this is a go between kind of a product with a minimum ticket size of 10 lakhs and uh, by 6th of august people have to file their uh, their feedback on this right uh, but largely not open to you and me it is open only to amc's and amfi who can launch this is uh, any uh, asset management company with at least 10,000 crores of assets under management uh, and with a um, three year track record. Obviously, the track record can be shifted from the CIO also. So, somebody with an experienced CIO or senior fund managers will be able to launch this, which means all the 40, 42, 43 uh, AMCs which are there will be able to launch this product. Uh, what are the attractions of this product? First of all, you can uh, choose whatever strategy you want, but remember it has to be a SEBI approved strategy. So SEBI may say what is allowed and what is not allowed. So uh, maybe uh, an inverse ETF, which means you are betting against the index. That is going to be possible. They have given that as an example. Uh, you may be able to include debt in it. You will be allowed to take a position of <coughs> derivatives. But please remember, it does not mean that you can use the whole 10 lakhs as a margin and take a 50 lakh rupee uh, derivative position or a 1 crore derivative position. No, leverage is still not allowed. Maybe after 5 years, 6 years, when they see the success, they will allow, <coughs> they will allow more players. Right. So right now they have opened it only to AMCs, not to the people who are managing PMS. Right. So maybe the maybe SEBI will see this whole thing for three years and then decide to open it for them also. Uh, is this a good product? Yes, it's a very good product. It is a very good product even for those people who are looking at PMS because unlike a PMS, this will be taxed uh, differently. So I may be able to let us say I create a uh, child education fund for my daughter and she's three years of age. So what happens is I touch it only when she is 18 and I pay tax only when she is 18. Whereas in a PMS, I will have to pay tax on a regular basis and it will get clubbed with my income. I don't want that. Similarly, I can create a debt portfolio maybe for my parents and say, okay, you can withdraw uh, 10 lakhs from this every year, right? 1 lakh per month you can withdraw. There the taxation goes to them. Can I actually create these products out of existing mutual funds? Answer is yes, but this might be a little easier uh, product to create for the AMC saying this is the strategy one, this is strategy two, this is strategy three. The strategy has to be approved by SEBI. So SEBI is not saying these are the 10 strategies in which you can launch. So I can create a strategy as an AMC. Theoretically, it looks like this. Go to SEBI and say this is the strategy I want. I want to take 10% derivative position. I want to take 20% uh, debt and I want to put 10% in REIT and the balance will be in small cap equity or in large cap equity, right? So any of those strategies which I think will work uh, can be created as a product here. The advantage for the AMC is to create 510 such strategies and seeing some strategy which gets uh, wildly popular, uh, maybe launch it as a scheme for the, uh, for the AMC itself. If they don't get approval for that, maybe they will just continue with this because as of now, I don't see a cap. Uh, uh, the um, uh, SEBI is not saying that uh, this uh, cannot keep increasing. So I can put 10 lakhs into it and do a 1 lakh rupee SIP into it when let it grow to 20 crores, 30 crores, 50 crores. There is no such cap, right? So similarly, these, uh, each of these strategies could become very big, especially if they can't get SEBI consensus for launching them as full-fledged uh, AMC product. So I think it's a fantastic win-win uh, situation for the uh, uh, AMC and for the uh, slightly higher uh, a mutual fund investor, uh, not the super HNI or not even the HNI who can put 50 lakhs. This is for the guy who can put 10 lakhs. The other advantage of this is uh, if I have four people in my family, 
I can create four such uh, strategies whereas with a PMS I would have had to put at least 50 lakhs in each strategy so I may need uh, for creating four strategies I needed two crores now I need only 40 lakhs so that is another advantage what are the other things I am not getting into the nitty gritty of uh, you can put 10 percent in a single company I, I think that uh, chase uh, the same rules which are applicable to the PMS may also be applicable here saying that not more than 5 percent of trade should be done with one broker etc etc I think all those uh, things will remain <coughs> on prima facie this looks very attractive I is it going to drive away the people the SEBI says there are a lot of people who are doing unauthorized PMS is it going to pull people from those unauthorized PMS to uh, the AMC PM, the new asset class I don't know it depends on how many strategies um, the SEBI is willing to allow if, uh, if, if an AMC goes and says here is my strategy that this will be a completely trading oriented uh, uh, new asset class we will not be taking positions beyond six months so we will be buying on a Monday maybe selling on a Friday so it will be very active trade will the SEBI allow this I don't know depending on what SEBI allows it could hurt some of the uh, illegal PMS because if you don't allow all these kind of strategies of buying and selling and all those quick turnaround uh, kind of uh, shares uh, then it may not be able to pull much and there is also uh, SEBI says there is a big uh, gap between these two buckets of mutual funds and though we are trying to make that up so uh, what exactly are they proposing SEBI is proposing to introduce this uh, new asset class and offering opportunities to sale so the thing is the AMC's can launch more and more uh, such schemes so the sales team really will have to work it is not very easy to sell old existing funds even if they are doing well so some of these new strategies will keep their sales people uh, happy and uh, uh, did SEBI see the need for this from the PMS people or from uh, going and doing some audits of uh, individual stock brokers and finding that many such uh, illegal PMS exists I don't know but I think the latter could be more true. Uh, as of now there are two examples which they have given which means uh, you could have a uh, redemption uh, window right which could say um, you it has got a seven year lock-in or a five year lock-in they may allow such things so if somebody launches a small cap fund small and micro cap fund with a seven year lock-in I will happily put 10 lakhs into it because uh, the, the ticket size is not so hurting uh, so I will put 10 lakhs and maybe do a 1 lakh rupee SIP into it for three years and literally grow it to the size of a PMS but saying this will only be a small and mid cap strategy with a seven year lock in I am happy with such a long lock in because the biggest risk in small cap investing is the uh, standard deviation the fluctuation in price it does not bother me that I will not uh, withdraw when the markets are bad of course I won't but the others when they withdraw they put a uh, I mean there is a huge withdrawal uh, penalty on me the person who stayed back so for me that could be useful of course uh, on, uh, I may be repeating this but only SEBI approved strategies can be launched under this new asset class for example there can be something called a long shot long shot means I take 10 lakhs from I am an AMC I take 10 lakhs from you I put 5 lakhs in some shares I use other 5 lakhs as a margin to short some shares I think some shares are overvalued so I go and short it. Uh, does shorting always make money no and anyway uh, as a percentage nobody shorts 50 percent so I would short something like maybe 8 lakhs would be long and 2 lakhs would be used as a margin for shorting shares that can be one inverse ETF can be one these are just examples which they have given I don't see why there can't be a multi asset uh, thing and um, different asset classes right. So some of these strategies we have to still wait to see what comes out because I don't know whether big uh, AMCs are going to jump into the fray you will have to wait for 6-7 months um, to see what exactly happens these products uh, the leveraged uh, can you leverage as of now they are not allowed so maybe after some time they may allow leverage. Uh, smaller percentage of leverage uh, in Australia there are ETF products with uh, with uh, derivatives for the investors to hedge and for taking a position so some of these things maybe they have copied or they have got it from the US they have got it from the from Australia 
uh, we will have to wait and see we will have to see what is the feedback but i do think uh, the sales teams will be excited in this and also the um, uh, the mfd or the ria who is catering to the uh, investor who is capable of putting slightly more than 500 but not capable of putting 50 lakhs right so for that audience this looks like a very good product I only hope they extend it to the other asset managers uh, like the PMS managers. I think it will take time. Maybe they will wait for 2-3 years to see how the whole thing uh, rolls out. If it rolls out well, maybe they will open it to the others. That will be very, uh, that will be very nice and that will be, I will be watching that very keenly. Thank you.